In my first video where we looked at the factories here, I had a lot of unanswered questions about the biodiesel. And I've done a lot more homework, and I got some answers for you guys. So stick around, we're gonna go over it. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and I've got an update video on the Placeable Factories video that we did a few days ago, and this one's going to be over the biodiesel. Now, I had a lot of unanswered questions for myself, for you guys, you guys were reaching out to me wondering what in the world was going on. So, what I did is I took a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say scientific, just you know, methodic approach, right? Very, very specific questions that I had, and I wanted to see what we would get because i didn't feel like the data that i was giving was very solid enough for you guys to fully understand how these factories work and the first thing i want to talk about is the pallet um, collection that i was using for some reason i don't know what it is on this map i cannot get those pallets to show up on the back of the um, piece of equipment that we were using the rollback okay the auto load so I got rid of it. I couldn't get them to show up at all. And I looked at the ER Shabbos videos. Everything showed that they should be there right from the start in the, in the store in, you know, right whenever you buy the part. So what I did is I came over and I grabbed the big bag handler. All right. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up here really, really quick. And I'm just going to come over here and we're going to pick one of these up because this is what I found to be the easiest way for me. If I can get it, <laughs> and I'm not going to do a good job. The easiest way for me to be able to work with these, okay? And it's even still a pain for me because I'm not really good at these controls. But what I want to do is I'm going to bring this over here. And as you can see, I don't have anything showing as to the amount that I have in here, okay? But let me go ahead and I'm going to jump into this right here. So this is going to show me if I go over here to my biodiesel that I have almost 22,500 liters. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come back over here. And how do I get this pallet of biodiesel into this silo? Well, you just hover over top of it. It's going to unload just like any normal pallet will. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to disappear. Boom, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to come back over here. And you guys will now be able to see that I have, if I do this again, right here, almost 25,000. So it is 2,500 liters in each one of those pallets. Okay. So that's really awesome. And you may be asking, well, what are you, what kind of silo do you have there? Well, I've got the all-in-one silo because I figured if anything was going to hold this stuff, it's going to be the all-in-one. All right. It's a pretty, I don't want to say it's a really, really nice mod. Okay. It may not fit on every map. So you may have to play around with the different silos that you want to use, the liquid silos. Um, there are quite a few out there. I just grabbed this one because I already had it in my mod folder. All right. So that's how you put it in there and how I have found that you can get it over here. I tried all different types of pieces of equipment to be able to pull up next to it and load into nothing was working. I had to transfer it into the silo first and then I can take it out of the silo. Right. So as you can see right here, come across here and boom, there we go. Biodiesel. So, play around with that a little bit. I There are so many different mods out there that it will take me literally forever to find out every combination of ones that will work. So, that's all I can recommend for you. All right, now, on to a little bit better information for you. What I did, as you guys can see, I moved everything around, made it a little bit closer up here, and we produced a lot of biodiesel. And what I did is on this factory over here, is set up at the one times um, the production rate. And this one here is set up at two times the production rate. So we know that one is $15,000 to start production and one is $30,000 to start production, okay? And what I did is I produced 60,000 liters of biodiesel at each place, all right? And I was keeping track of daily, you know, how much it was producing every 24 hours and nothing was consistent. And I think the reason is because these pallets, they don't fill up um, evenly. And what I mean by that is you'll get a barrel and then it'll like go all the way full. And then like before you get the next barrel, right in the new pallet, it's got to get to a certain point. 
So what I did is I just went all the way till it was completely full. And that's 60,000 liters here. As you can see, there's, um, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times <laughs> four, uh, 24, uh, pallets here each with 2500 liters so that's 60,000 liters okay so how long did that take on the one times production well that took almost exactly eight days it was like two hours shy of eight days is what it took so i would just calculate everything at eight days all right so how much does that produce well that produces 750 or 7,500 liters per day all right, and that's for a full um, dock, as you can see right here, full dock. All right, now on the two times production, 60,000 liters, how long did it take me? Well, it took six days. All right, so that equals 10,000 liters per day. So, really, really interesting. The next question how much product, diesel and canola, was used to produce? those 60,000 liters, all right? So on the one times production, we used 15,000 liters of diesel and 60, 60, 000 liters of canola. That's really, really interesting. So to get 60,000 liters of biodiesel, I had to use 15,000 liters of diesel. Kind of interesting, it wasn't cheap either. I have a mod over here installed, and it's a just a fuel station, okay? It's, um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a basic fuel station, okay? And well, let's see if we can find out what it is right here for you really quickly. Miscellaneous. It's going to be this one. It just says the Lizard Gas Station. This is what it looks like, all right? And by doing this, it cost $15,000 for the fuel, all right? Or I'm sorry, it cost eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars for the fuel. Fifteen thousand liters cost eighteen thousand and seven hundred dollars. Okay, so um, we also filled up canola. Let me come back over here too. We also filled up with canola. Okay, and that was sixty thousand liters of canola, and that cost coming out of the uh, multi fill station over there was forty one thousand six hundred dollars. So total investment of me buying everything from those two mods right over there was sixty thousand and three hundred dollars okay how much did i make well if you come across over here and you look at the sale prices of biodiesel i'm going to bring it all the way to the very end you can see that it's anywhere from twelve uh hundred twenty four dollars to seventeen hundred and thirteen dollars i was able to find this at around eighteen hundred dollars and change okay so that's the price that I went with at that time. That was the highest price, and I'm glad I did. So at that price, that was about $108,000 that I made. So it sounds pretty decent, right? You know, you've got $108,000 of product going in and or coming out, right? And you only invested, at worst, 60.3. So not bad. Not bad at all. It's about $48,000 profit, okay? over here on the two times production same thing okay this breaks down to make 60,000 liters of product in six days it actually cost more i used 20,000 liters of diesel so you got a higher production rate you're going to burn through more diesel all right and also it used 80,000 liters of canola so you're going to waste 20,000 liters of canola and use 5,000 more liters of diesel all right, so total input on this ended up being $80,500. I mean, that's $20,000 more to be able to get the exact same amount. Now, I got it two days faster, okay, but I don't know. I don't know if that was a good deal because that's only $27,500 profit compared to about $48,000 over here on the one times production. I don't know which one's better. I mean, if you, if you really, really need to go fast and get a lot churned out and you're not worried about kind of how much you're losing on the backside, then yeah, this one, right? But if you're all about profits, it's got to be over here, right? Based on that information. So then I looked at, well, what if I had my own canola? 
okay? I've got my own canola. I, I don't want to use purchased canola out of that right there. Well, I looked at it. And if you remember, I made some videos um, about average price and highest price on crops from what I'd seen on a 10-day average. And at the average sell price of 60,000 liters of canola for this plant right here, all right, that's going to be $64,300. Now, if I went to the highest sell price that I recorded, that's $87,100, okay? Now, my profit, if I used my own canola, was going to be $89,300, right? So what that equaled out to, okay, is anywhere... <laughs> now, this is really, really crazy, all right? Anywhere from $2,200,000 to $25,000, depending on the sale price of the corn, right? So this factory gave me a profit, even with the sale price, okay, of anywhere between two point two dollars and $25,000. So it's still more profitable to put my uh, grain into here and produce it than it is to sell it outright, all right? Because it's very rare that I'm going to get that absolute highest price, right, to be able to... Uh, have the 25,000, um, or the 2.2, right? So the 2.2 was if I sold it, and that was going to give me the closest gap, right? But at the average sale price was $25,000 profit. So it still makes more sense to put it in here, if you look at it that way. But considering it took me eight days to be able to do that, I only made, at best, $3,125 profit per day. And at worst, $275 a day. So, I wanted to look at this one. All right, so we ran the same numbers. Okay. This one here, it cost me $85,500 for my own uh, canola, the sale price of the canola of the $80,000. All right, so if I would have sold it outright instead of putting it out of here, I would have made between eighty-eight or $85,800 and $116,300. But we know that my profit was only... <laughs> you know, um, 108 was what the total sale value of all that product. So it seems like I'm already negative, right? Well, yeah, profit loss on this factory right here, two times production is anywhere between 2.8 thousand to 33.3 thousand loss total for a full dock right here. All right, that equals out to anywhere between $500 and $5,500 a day I'd be losing. So, um, is the biodiesel plant a good investment and a good way to make money by itself? I don't think so. But, if you're bringing diesel over, all right, and you're producing it, and it's giving you biodiesel, and then you can take that biodiesel, right, for free and put it into another factory that you don't have that diesel cost on, that's where you start making your money. And we're going to look at that. I'm going to fire up another one of these plants that's going to require another crop and fuel. And we're going to use the biodiesel here, so it's going to be absolutely zero input cost on that side of it. All right? We're going to look at everything else exactly the same. So I don't think this factory is good by itself. I really feel like you need this factory with another factory. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the other factories and determine is there a production setting for like a one or a two or a three or whatever it needs to be. And then we're going to figure out the numbers as if we use our own fuel. Okay? We're still going to keep this information because we know how much we put in, right? We know how much it costs us to be able to produce this fuel. So we're going to keep these numbers, and we're going to look at those other ones. So if you like these types of videos, definitely give me a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments that, yes, this is something you definitely, definitely want to know about. Um, I haven't received a whole lot of feedback about these, but I did only do one video, so I feel like I need to do a couple more. But if you're really, really into this, and you really want to know what all is going on here, um, definitely definitely let me know. But the biggest thing here to take away is you're going to lose money if you use this on two times production. Um, and it's not so much losing money. You're going to make less money doing this than you would if you would have just sold the canola outright. 
all right, at an average price, okay? This factory, you're not going to make... You're going to make more money profit-wise over that one. It's going to take you a little bit longer to get there, um, but it is a little bit more profitable, okay? So, in conclusion, that's what we have. So, if you're completely confused by this, go ahead and put uh, hashtag, confu hashtag confused in the comments below, and I'll know that I need to do a better job of explaining it to you. All right, so I went ahead and made a chart. Here it is, just for your reference. Enjoy. That's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest factor, placeable factories videos here, think about hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, hit that notification bell too. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.